viewers welcome to my channel pc jewel chamber live a source of diamond today we are going to see uh, another topic from stratigraphy stratigraphy classification nomenclature lithosphere stratigraphy and its units i am dr sajid ondekar associate professor and head department of geology aki pune college of arts science commerce can maharashtra affiliated to university of pune is SPPU or what it is the University of Pune the study graphic classification and nomenclature study graphic is a study of sequential arrangement of stratified rock earlier also we have seen the uh, video which has been uploaded study graphy introduction definition then development then importance and the principles of study graphy those who are required they can go to the Uh, PC Geo Chamber Live, my YouTube channel. I can you can watch that video. So here we have the second video on this study graphy. So study graphy classification nomenclature. So study graphy is a study of sequential arrangement of study graphy rock which stack one above the other according to their age. So it is systematically arranged and separates the rock bodies of the earth into units. based on the inherent properties and attributes hence the stratigraphic classification helps to understand the geometry and sequence of the rock bodies any rock sequence can be termed as conformable only if it strata were formed without any time gap or deposition interruption for example a bed which is started depositing a then followed by b followed by c d e f g h alphabetically it is continuous one there is no gap in between so it is called as conformable but sometime what is happening a b c dot and d rock has been deposited and after that there is a erosion and c and d bed is eroded then after the again the new bed which is started depositing it will deposited by e bed so a b c d is missing then immediately e bed will be there so that is called as unconformable there is a time gap so here a conformable series of beds there is a no time gap continuous there will be a deposition of beds will be there however in nature so it will require if there is a continuous deposition is there so for this what is required the source rock which is there it has to be continuously go on whether mechanically as well as chemically then eroded transported deposition this continuous cycle the erosion Uh, denudation cycle has to be continuous so that uh, continuously the supply of material will be there and we are going to get the continuous deposition so one above the other we can get the continuous rock otherwise we don't get if there is a gap is there there is no erosion then automatically no deposition if there is no uh, agent is there so there will be a no deposition so that might, might be happen sometimes the velocity of wind or water is so that whatever material which is deposited it might be eroded so that may happen erosion deposition they may be continuous or they may not be uh, continuous one so deposition will continuous no erosion so due to that conformable and unconformable series of beds will be depend however in nature there are long gaps in the formation of rock strata due to erosion and or deposition so wherever we have the long gaps unconformities have been recognized and these unconformities have been made as a uh, divisions for the whatever the geological time scale we have been prepared a video has already been uploaded on geological time scale so era, eras eon eras uh, then we have the periods are there so everywhere we have the unconformity the time gap which has been made so the profound unconformity is there between the cryptozoic and uh, uh, what we have the phenozoic so profound that is called as eparchian unconformity every part of the world it has there so that is a time gap is a huge one such a surface of non deposition term as unconformity and conformity may be envelop small or large time scale depending upon the geological process and could be a local or regional accent on a regional scale the unconformity is developed due to the major tectonic event which can be taken place as a natural time boundary for the division of geological time scale Thus, if the Earth history is taken to be book, such a book could be a several pages of history. 
such rocks are then correlated for their lithology, age, fossil, and their equivalence in age established. Stratigraphic elements or rock sequence at any place can be described as a part of earth history either with the help of its physical criteria must be lithological properties of the rock or lithological criteria with the help of the position of the geological time scale that is a geochronological uh, criteria with the help of the development of the life of the earth that is a biostatic criteria criteria further the time unit can be simple time units era period or epoches or as an assemblage of stratigraphic sequence form in a time specific time interval that is a chronostratigraphic unit hence there are three criteria of the main element of stratigraphy that is the chronostratigraphic lithostratigraphic and biostratigraphic units the earliest geological studies were not particular about the importance of geological time and the great emphasis was laid on stratigraphic succession and the recognition of the rock systems as the fundamental grouping of the strata that is the lithostratigraphy when radioactive metric, uh, dating methods of the rock became available it was possible to date exact time of the formation of rock because every rock could not have the fossil so there may be a power our divides of the fossils are there in the rock so these rocks will be dated and now we have a latest technology which we have been there and uh, with the help of the various radiometric dating we can make the uh, dating of the rock and with this the chronostratigraphic and the geochronological units were chosen as the scale formation of standard stratigraphic classification the former is based on the rock unit whose boundaries are defined is based on the rock unit whose boundaries are defined by the specific time horizons while the latter is attributed to the time units defined by the time span of equivalent chronostratigraphic units that is siluric system will be there our siluric period will be made however after the stratigraphic studies of asia africa america it is observed that stratigraphic division could not be defined with the same boundaries on a global scale and also on non fossiliferous strata were not suitably represented based on the large scale but it was realized that some characteristic of fossil assemblages are also serve as a good tool for correlating the distant horizon as well for determining the relative age of the rock so wherever we get the uh, peculiar characteristic of the fossils and that fossils in any particular region is there whether it is antarctica or it can take africa whether it can take australia we can easily correlate the rocks and immediately once you get this but confirm that these two dates are there they are now equivalent this fossils are there then upper and lower we can make out as the marker bed and from there we are now going to make out the lithology the correlation we can make out thus the occurrence of fossil in them serve as a different unit for a biostratigraphic classification now we will see in this video the lithostratigraphic units and biostratigraphic chronostratigraphic we will make as a separate video so we should not be confused one at a time so now in this video we will just focus on lithostratigraphic unit lithostratigraphy is a sub branch of stratigraphy which deals with the study of rock litho is a rock stratigraphy is a branch of geology deals with the Layering of rock, vertical, horizontal, then correlation, fossil, everything what we are going to study, various parameters in that. So that studies will be called as the stratigraphy, and when it is uh, with the reference to the rock, then it is a lithostratigraphy. Its thrust area includes geochronology, comparative geology, and petrology. It mainly use the principle of superposition. which states that a sedimentary rock layer in a tectonically undisturbed strata is younger than the one beneath the older than one below one above it when lithostratigraphic criteria are solely considered for classification of a rock succession it is called as lithostratigraphic classification in such a description or definition no emphasis will be given on the time connotation yes so here when you are going to see only lithostratigraphic in that we are not going to give the importance to the time lithostratigraphic unit is a defined body 
either igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. Because litho rocks are there, so we have the three rocks: primary, secondary, or tertiary. Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic, which is distinguished and delimited on the basis of lithological characters and the stratigraphic position. We should know what are the uh, rocks characters are there, what are the uh, rock cycle is there, and on the surface maximum we are going to get the sedimentary rock. Then we have igneous. Then we have the very few are the metamorphic. As a deeper, deeper we go, we are going to get igneous and the metamorphic rock. So that will be the position will be there, and it is usually stratified tabular in the form vertical as well as the lateral boundaries. Lithos stratigraphic units are recognized on the basis of litho lithological variation within the rock bodies. Sometimes the presence of e beds or unconformities with litho lithological characters. Our characters are characteristic become useful in delimiting one unit from the other. So how you are going to make out the uh, classification, distinct uh, divisions which are done? They have been done on the basis of the particular criteria. Therefore, the least stratigraphy also involved lateral tracing of rocks. The purpose of lithos stratigraphy is to note, describe, and arrange about changes systematically into units. These units define or identify on the observed physical features in the field. The litho stratigraphic units are supergroup, group, formation, member, and bed. Remember now, supergroup, group, formation, member, and bed. These are what we have. The litho stratigraphic units. The supergroup are divided into group. Groups are divided into formation. Formations are divided into members, and members are come to are divided into members. This number of beds will come to form as a member. Number of members come to form as a formation. Number of formation come to get a group. Number of group come to the make as a super group. So this is the way the, the what we have the litho stratigraphic uh, units are there. Thus, a super group is roughly corresponding to erratum. A group roughly corresponding to system. A formation is series. A member to stage and bed to zone. That has been given. So, super group that is uh, divided into group. Group is divided into formation. Formation is divided into member, and member is divided into formation. So, super group is divided into group. Group is divided into formation, and formation divided into members, and members will divide into the beds. So, this is what we have the table. Now, we'll see one by one the actual the definitions of that particular part. Uh, it is group now. It is a common. And broadest unit of litho stratigraphic uh, classification. It is made up of thick rock succession spread over a large area. Different successive group are separated by the presence of unconformity. A single group is divided into many formation, and each group is named after the type where they are exposed excellently. And number of group come together, the super group. That is what we have the Sadhava super group. And the Dharwar super group is divided into Baba Budan, Chitra group, or Rani Benur. This is there. So this is the way we are going to make out the group. Groups are named after the localities. Uh, what we have just seen the uh, in the case of the Dharwar. So it is in the Karnataka area. We have been divided. So a super group is an association of similar mutually related group, roughly deposited during a long period of time, like an era. Formation, a basic fundamental unit of Litho stratigraphic unit it is a rock succession deposited particular epoch that is roughly under uniform physiochemical condition and formation is a mappable unit of 1x to 50,000 scale. Formation it is a made up of mainly mutually related members, many formation of same mutual re relation giving rise to a member group, and a formation is a fundamental unit in the local classification of the rock. It is a rock succession deposited duty during a particular epoch under identical condition of geological environment. It is recognized on the basis of typical lithological characteristics and stratigraphic positions. Member, a part of the member, uh, part of the formation that has some lithological uh, or characteristic fossil assemblages is distinguished as a member. For example, if you want to make out Uh, a family of 20 people is there, and in that you can see the chronology. The small child, which is there of a age 
will be a two months or three months will be a member of that family and in that we have father and mother is there so that will become the uh, what we have the next part then the their grandparents then their grandparents then their grand so that will be a sequence will be going to form similar one here also in the rock also we have same tree like a structure has been there thus it can be said many similar mutually related pairs from a member many member forming the formation and many formation for form a group and many group form a super group that is how what we have related bed is the smallest formal lithostatic graphic unit of sedimentary rock i hope this will be a clear the what we have done today stratigraphy the classification nomenclature and lithostatic graphic and its units thank you have a nice day